Welcome to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show, where you get advice you can trust from the Capital Region's leading experts in real estate and all related fields. From the latest real estate trends to the best mortgage rates, from curb appeal to home warranty, this is the talk show that will help you save and make the most when it comes to buying or selling your most valuable asset. Now, here's your host, broker and founder of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, The Property Shop, John Bevilacqua. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Johnny G. Good morning, my friend. How what's, you doing? What's going on, man? Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Yeah, good yeah. to have you back. Nice, Happy nice holiday little, weekend. That's right. Uh, the, the the Canadian smoke is back. I jinxed oh, us. I know. I no, mentioned it a couple shows ago that it'd be gone oh, for good. Oh, but man, got that eerie. I thought it was going to be gone for that good. That eerie not. orange glow out there. Hey, how was the graduation party? Pretty good. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. It's good. Well, yeah, listen. Glad I was there. Congratulations. That's awesome. Glad to have you back, man. Right, thanks. Got a got a power packed show for us today. Yeah, right. We had a special guest that made the trek all the way yeah, from who is this guy? Utica, New York. That's my father. No kidding. That's John T. Senior Bevilacqua right there. Wow. In the flesh. Say hi, John. Like the I, like the I, politicians I thought, say, I, I, I'm the I, big I, guy. He looked way too young to me. <laughs> <laughs> he looked too young? Yeah, because I have more gray hair than he does. Oh, he'll take that compliment. Uh, see, there you go. He'll hey, take that. thanks. Uh, so I'll, have, I'll tell we you have his secret three off John's air, John. in this room. We got three Johns. That's right. I didn't even think about that. Sounds that sounds weird, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> three Johns in All a room. Right. Go figure. <laughs> hey, listen, let, we're, we're going to talk about John, John Sr. in a second. All right. Just want to uh, go over what we're here for. So John took the trek to hour and a half to get here to uh, to be on the show, and that's what that's what we're all about, guys. All we're right. here to uh, make a commitment every Saturday to bring our listeners uh, the most up to date real estate market conditions, inside tips, strategies. We got some good tips today. We're going to talk about. We're actually talking about the market a little bit on the first half of the show. Uh, more importantly, uh, it, what to do and what not to do when selling the place that you call home. It's what I've been doing for 20 years, John. Um, you right. might hear me throughout the show mention that, hey, mm-hmm. I'm not bragging. I am just applying for the job of selling your home. And this is a call-in show. So if you want to call in and get your real estate questions answered, you want to jump in on the topic that we're talking about, you want to talk about the market, give us a call. Um, or if you want to just uh, you know talk about a future show and something you'd like to hear, give us a call. John is working the hotline, the mm-hmm. magic hotline, four seven six fifty nine hundred. Looking right at it. Five one eight four seven six five nine zero zero. So give us a call right now. We're just going to take a quick break and hear for our sponsors. And we're going to talk to John T. John T. Bevilacqua. To schedule an appointment with John Bevilacqua to help you buy or sell your home, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. John will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guarantee Radio Show here on Magic 100.5 and AM 590. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. What's really the best rate? Which term makes sense? Hi, I'm Ben Forcucci at Freedom One Funding in Latham. We work with 10 different lenders who provide 100 different mortgage products. I'll listen to what your needs are and then I'll do the work to find the right option for your particular situation. We have special expertise in helping first-time home buyers. So eliminate the stress and call me today at 542-LOAN. I'm Ben Forcucci from Freedom One Funding, and I'll do the shopping for you. Call 542-LOAN. Buying or selling the place you call home can be stressful. When you have questions, you don't want to wait for answers. Well, for 20 years, Kim Salerno and her team at Salerno Law have built a solid reputation with buyers, sellers, and real estate agents as fast, respectful communicators. They know Salerno Law will protect their rights and respond quickly when a question arises. Trust Salerno Law. Call 518-309-3404 and check out their five-star reviews at SalernoLawNY.com. It's John Tesh. If you're thinking of selling your home, let me take the stress out of deciding which agent to hire. In the capital region, the agent I recommend is John Bevilacqua founder of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty at The Property Shop. So for two decades, John has helped more than 2,500 families buy and sell the place they call home. That's a solid track record, one that's backed up by dozens of five-star reviews. Hello. In fact, John is so confident in his marketing system to attract the right buyer for your home that he guarantees to sell it at a price and deadline you agree to or he's going to buy it himself for cash. And he provides that guarantee in writing. The agent I trust is John Bevilacqua, and he's the agent you should trust too. His name is his promise, Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. So write this number down. It's 518-957-SOLD. That's easy. 
518-957-7653. Or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. I love that one. johnnyhasthebuyers.com, and you'll get your home sold guaranteed. If you're buying or selling your home and would like to schedule an appointment with John, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show and your host, John Bevilacqua. Okay, we are back, everybody. So, hey, so, yeah, we've got uh, we got John Sr. here. made the trek in from Utica. Um, Big John's been in sales and marketing probably longer than I know longer than I've been been alive. So our family actually owned, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, really. <laughs> our our family owned a, a food brokerage business for years. So my grandfather oh, wow. sold it to my father, and and uh, yeah, and so John en- ended up retiring, and now he's. Uh, yeah. Helping me sell houses, right? Spent a lot of time in Price Shoppers main office. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. For a good number of years. Yeah. 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 yeah it's activity. Yeah. 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 In fact, my father in law, Mike DeMeo, was close friends with uh, <coughs> Leon Golub. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, Mr. Golub. Yeah. So, a lot of sales experience this gentleman has, and he's going to help me tackle um, a topic in the second half of the show, which I think is going to be interesting because it has to do with um, bringing your parents along on, <laughs> on on looking at houses and uh, and and a and, and a group of buyers that have really kind yeah. of put a dent in the first time home buyer market. And it's, I think it's going to be an interesting topic for the audience because I think they'll they'll the, we're going to give them some ownership details and you know as a young couple right uh what you know what to do and and what not to do mm-hmm. when buying a home together yep and some strategies and tips so we're going to cover that in the second half of the show first half of the show right. i'm going to go over so every month we put out what's called our market watch newsletter so the market watch newsletter is 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 a great piece of literature we send it out digitally we have a newsletter that goes out digitally and then we send it out to um any of our uh, potential customers that haven't uh, uh, purchased a home or sold a home through us to keep them up to date. You don't even have to be a, a, a potential customer. This, this, we send this also out to our, our past clients, and I actually send it to the radio station too, so you guys actually have a copy of this that goes around the radio station. But every month, I break down the market trends in the capital region, so we go over you know average price of the home, how long property has been sitting on the market for, just all these different stats. So we're going to go over that in, in detail just so we can give everybody an update of how the market is right now. Um, there's been some national news on rates that people have probably been seeing, uh, national news on prices starting to drop a little bit, which is interesting because we haven't had a price t- drop since before the pandemic. And then inside Market Watch, I have um, uh, some hot buys in the capital region. Uh, there's homes that uh, we have uh, featured homes that we have listed. And then there is, you know, four or five articles to help people be successful in real estate. So that's the Market Watch. Um, and you know, really, the reason I put it out is is because we sell, you know, home after home, month after month. And the biggest question I'm sure John Sr. gets asked is, what's going on with the market, right? So that that's the biggest question that I get asked. And the Market Watch kind of um, solves uh, that, that question for a lot of um, people that are following real estate. So I'll start with listings. So listings are down about 20, 5, 20, um, 19% year, after, year over year. This is, this is May and most of June. I didn't get to I didn't get to uh, all of June because today's July 1st, so I didn't have all the stats and I didn't get to do it at the end of the day yesterday, but I got May and most of June. So um, listings down 19%. Single family uh, properties are down 20% year over year. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you're talking about like four or 500 houses here that, uh, you know, that, that aren't on the market, right? Or that, that aren't selling, right? Because why? We don't have listings, right, John? We've talked about this on, oh, on yeah, all how, the time. Yeah, we talked to a show after show that it, right. you know listings are are, are coveted right now, um, and that silhouette's the same in my market in the Mohawk Valley. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's just about identical, uh, just about identical. Yeah. And I think that's a national trend. There's going to be a couple pockets here and there nationally where um, you know sales are even or or even up some, but uh, on a national level, that, that's what we're seeing. Um, I mean, just to talk about new listings in May. Now, this is keep in mind this is all property types, including multifamily rentals and land. There was 1,996 new listings in May. Uh, compared to last year, there was there was a, just a under twenty four hundred. So, 
that's you know that's fifteen percent across the board on all market types. Um, condos were down thirty one percent. I know we don't have a huge condo market here, but still, like I mean, yeah, that, right, yeah. condos and townhouses are a great retirement strategy they for are, people. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what you did, right? Yeah. So, so people come out of these thirty five, you know, thirty five hundred, twenty five hundred square foot homes. Yeah, they're looking for a downsize play. Right. Condos, townhouses, they make the ultimate solution. Exactly. Yeah. So. What does that what does that say for the the sixties and seventies senior set that want to move down? Where yeah. are they going? Mm-hmm. If, if if you've got condos down thirty one percent, that makes downsizing a really difficult task. It does, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah you're right; it's not easy. It wasn't easy for us. We yep. did it, but I mean, you know, trying to find something, trying to find something tough. Tough. So um, we are still seeing an inventory squeeze. Obviously, it's you know the, I, I I don't know if people are familiar about um, months of in- inventory. Sometimes you'll hear um, it, um, you know the 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 real estate market has X amount of months of inventory right now. Right, we're at one point five seven months of inventory. So what is that? What's that? What's that mean? It's it's an absor- absorption rate. I don't want to get too technical and you know kind of lose people and confuse them. But what it means is that. If if there were no new listings from today, that it's the time uh, from today moving forward. It's the time it would take to sell everything that's on the market to sell. So okay? you're saying in a month and a half, a month and a half it would oh. take to sell current. So that's inventory. not really very much, is it? It's not a lot. So yeah. so uh, a market that has zero to three months inventory, very seller heavy market, right? So that's what we're in right now. If you have a market where the supply is four to six months right. of supply, pretty neutral. Right, so that's that's a healthy market where people are able to make moves easier. Um, interest rates are pretty steady. It's it's healthy. It's good. Not not that we're not healthy right now. I mean, it's great to be a seller in this market. It's tough to be a buyer. And then if you have anything that's six plus six months plus, you're in a heavy buyer's market. God forbid we don't want to have six plus months of inventory. That's that's not good news for anybody. So, um, but right now we're about a month and a half supply. It's very low, swinging heavily towards sellers. So. Um, so that's, that's kind of a, a little bit on, on absorption. Last month, let's talk about sales. Uh, last month we had 804 total sales. That, that was May and June. This is, we're talking about the peak of the spring market, 800. That's uh, crazy. S- same with you, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, so sales are low. That, that's down 15% from last year. Again, 15% doesn't sound like a lot, but that's like another two or 300 homes right. that, that weren't. That didn't trade. That that makes it tough for brokers, agents, businesses, wow, yeah, right? Sure. So, oh, yeah. so this whole crunch that the Fed did with raising the rates, hedging inflation. I mean, it's it's taken a toll on yeah, the market, don't you think, yeah, Johnson? Absolutely. Yeah. And another problem too is, you know, the people have a lot less money. Yeah. You know, they're they're taking what they had saved for down payments to live off of. Mm-hmm. So their down payments are depleting. Yeah. You know, yeah. interest rates are going up, and it's affected everything: automobiles, houses, mm. food oh, yeah. costs, everything, right down the line. So, yeah. yep. you know, it's tough to save a buck. It, it is tough to so save. So, I would suggest to anybody, you know, cut your expenses and yeah. save because if you don't buy now, that American dream is just going to get further and, and further, further ahead. Away, yeah, you know, and that's a good that's a good point you because. Know, Keep going. I'm sorry, and, and, I didn't mean you know, to cut you out, Dad. Oh, that's okay. You always do. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. When I bought my first house, John was two years old. Oh, this is going to play that's great right. to the next segment. Go ahead. Oh, uh, and okay, I built yeah. the house yep. from scratch. But you know why? Because at the time when I built the house, the interest rates were 8%. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I said, self, I'm never going to be able to buy, that, buy a house. He's talking to himself. Now, so right? <laughs> I went to an open house one day mm-hmm. that a contractor had. Yeah. And I was explaining to him, here's what I, you know, my income, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I says, I could never afford to build a house like this. He says, oh, yes, you can. He says, you just got to be a little creative. I said, well, how's that? He says, well, he says, go to the Farmer's Home Administration, which I did. Great point. And I came home and I took the bull by the horns and I went there. Mm-hmm. And luckily... I had a great neighbor next door. That's great. George Zogby, the contractor. That's right. God rest his soul. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he saw me through the building process. And he went to bat for me with the government, you know, to to get the loan through. But we ended up building the house. And with no money down. That's great. Didn't cost me a nickel. Yeah. And the government gave me a 2% interest rate. So all you people that are trying to buy homes... Don't be afraid to go to the Farmer's Home Administration yep. and uh, 
see what they got to offer you. Yeah, I'm you know, real proud. I mean, because th- 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 when there's a will, there's a way. Th- that's but, correct. You know, and, you and just got to do it. And that that brings me to the point that we talked about. And we're gonna we're gonna we'll pick this back up after the break. But good point. Let's talk about loans quickly. When we get back. Ben Forcucci will probably give us some insight on that if he was around. But right. anyway, um, gonna take a break and we'll pick up this topic when we're done. To schedule an appointment with John Bevilacqua to help you buy or sell your home, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. John will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guarantee Radio Show here on Magic 100.5 and AM 590. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. What's really the best rate? Which term makes sense? Hi, I'm Ben Forcucci at Freedom One Funding in Latham. We work with 10 different lenders who provide 100 different mortgage products. I'll listen to what your needs are and then I'll do the work to find the right option for your particular situation. We have special expertise in helping first-time home buyers. So eliminate the stress and call me today at 542-LOAN. I'm Ben Forcucci from Freedom One Funding, and I'll do the shopping for you. Call 542-LOAN. Finding the right mortgage can be stressful. What's really the best rate? Which term makes sense? Hi, I'm Ben Forcucci at Freedom One Funding in Latham. We work with 10 different lenders who provide 100 different mortgage products. I'll listen to what your needs are, and then I'll do the work to find the right option for your particular situation. We have special expertise in helping first-time home buyers. So eliminate the stress and call me today at 542-LOAN. I'm Ben Forcucci from Freedom One Funding, and I'll do the shopping for you. Call 542-LOAN. If you're buying or selling your home and would like to schedule an appointment with John, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show and your host, John Bevilacqua. We're back, guys. This is a call-in show. Just want to let you know, Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty uh, radio talk and news show. we got some great topics sitting here with John Bevilacqua Sr. making the trek from Utica, New York, representative of our Utica office there. Johnny G, working the switchboard and the mic. Mm-hmm. Um, give us a call, guys. If, you've, if you're if you into this topic, and we're going to talk about another one in a second here, but we just were going over market rates, market trends, buying a house back in the day. John Offair was telling us about his first house in Clifton Park, mm-hmm. park that he bought for 58000 The interest rate was 19%. <laughs> Ronnie, was 15, Ronnie, but Ronnie was, Reagan dropped the yeah, rates. It was and high enough, yeah. Johnny refinanced and put a pool in. So, yeah, yeah, but that was then. That was then. It's different now. Yeah, it's different, but it's it's the same. It's but similar. It's similar. Uh-huh. It's similar. Okay. So, so People you know, can't get discouraged. You can't get discouraged, right? right? That, that's the whole point. People. Yeah, th- that's you know? what we do. Like, we, we, we'll... We can, we're going to do the best we can to find your house. We have the VIP home hunter system. It's a big consumer program that we like to push to help people. Especially, a, a, especially the new buyers, the newbies, the first home buyers. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you can tell them things. Sometimes when you try to get a buyer that's bought a few houses, you can't tell them anything. They know it all. Yeah. You know, and they the, really the, don't. The, the, the new, the new ones listen. They take they your do. advice. They that, do. that's a great segue, but yeah. just, just quick, John. If you guys want to call in on this topic, give us a call, 476-5900, 476-5900. That's the, uh, the direct line to the magic, as I like to say. So um, so we we get a lot of emails and questions, and this is a good segue. We got a, a uh, an email question a couple of weeks ago from Beth B. from, uh, from oh, yeah. Applaus. That's just out of, uh, outside of Glenville, writes, John... My son and his girlfriend are looking to buy a house together, and I'm wondering if this is a good idea with them not being married yet and owning a property together. Any advice? <laughs> well, okay. Um, like Frank Sinatra said, the old tune love and marriage going together like a horse and carriage. <laughs> that doesn't always work. <laughs> no, not always. No, no, no. But you can do it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Beth, we see this all the time. Um, you know, we take buyers that, that are, are committed to buy a house, but not really committed to each to each other. Yeah, it, but you know, here's here's a quick stack. 2019 unmarried couples made up 20 percent of home buyers ages 22 to 29. Oh wow, uh, that's a, that's actually right from National Associated Realtor. More Report. than I thought. Yeah, uh, that's uh, more than 85 percent of them were first home uh, first time home buyers. Now keep in mind, young couples. Um, you know, it's risky buying a home with someone that you're actually not married to. Um, and, you know, I picked Kim's brain, Kim Salerno, who's one of our sponsors. She's uh, Salerno Law and Why. Kim and I kind of chatted about this early in the week. And, you know, she advised come up with a game plan, right? So just like we heard from the last show about elder care and planning, it's it's the same idea. I mean, come up with a game plan, keep it legal, talk to an, talk to a real estate attorney and figure out, 
you know, what the best strategy is. I mean, there might be a couple of slightly awkward conversations, uh, you know, with your unmarried, well, unmarried spouse, for lack of a better, I don't know what you yeah. call that term, your girlfriend, right? So right. Sure. Um, coming up with a plan is a, is is really the first step. But even before that, you might want to sign a prenup. Now, I'm not talking about a prenup on the marriage. I'm talking about a prenup on the house, right? Nobody, nobody wants oh, to talk. Oh, I never heard of that. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody wants, nobody wants to talk about breaking up, right? You're, you know, you yeah. put, the, put the engagement ring on their finger, and the yeah, last thing you want to say is, like, right. hey, honey, you know, let's talk about sure. when we break up or if we don't break up, right? right. Um, it's the same thing with, with co-homeowners. It, it's, it's a must. Kim said that um, she recommends unmarried couples create a co-ownership contract with the help of, a, of, a, of a, an attorney. Before the closing game, uh, before the closing game, and it, the agreement should cover basic questions like, you know, what happens, what happens to the property if we split up? What happens if one of us becomes disabled or passes away? Who pays the utility bills? Who pays for major repairs? Like That's these right. are all big questions that you don't really think of. Yeah. It, so you, you know. need to choose the right title. Yep. You know. Yep, that's that's a partnership on the house, and there's so many ways to go on that. Oh, we got a, hey, we got Joe Malone on the phone. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, Joe Malone can't stay off this show. Hey, Joe, <laughs> are you calling from camp, Joe? I am. I am. I'm, I'm calling from the lake house. He's uh, probably in his boat. <laughs> <laughs> this guy pulls hey, more got... bass out of of East Stoner Lake than anybody on the lake. I think. Hey, listen, I, I do have a quick question for you. Yeah. I, I had a client, a uh, first time home buyer, that discouraged. Because they're getting outbid on on homes, and their th- thought is, "I'm going to get out and wait six more months." What's your thought on that? <laughs> well, I think John Senior hit it on the nose in the first half. W- what were you t- What were you saying, John, about pricing and waiting and buy now? Yeah, Don't buy wait. now. The, the longer you wait, the further away you're going to get from it. And I, I tell people I've, all the time, we've got a, a friend of ours up north here in the Albany area. Mm-hmm. And he keeps saying he wanted to buy a house, buy a house. But now it's getting to the point where he can't even afford it, mm-hmm. you know. And, uh, and you know, even if they make a good wage, the prices have gone up so much, you know. And I don't see where they're going to go backwards. The prices are not going to go backwards. They may not go up as high annually. You know, maybe they were going up 15 to 20% for the last two years. They might only go up 5 or 6%, but they're not going to go backwards. I've seen that too, and I, I, I kind of agree with what you guys are saying. Right, Joe. Um, I've been trying to tell buyer my my buyers to stay in the game, don't Absolutely. get discouraged, Absolutely. and uh, and and keep looking. And you know, we're doing what we can to to help them out, but these multiple bid situations uh, make it difficult. You yep. know, where you're getting multiple offers on a property, and they you know everybody's got a limit to how high they can go, and there right. always seems to be someone right now. That can go higher. It's willing to pay more, and it, here's the, it's going to get even a little. Nope. I hate to use the word tougher. It's going to get a little more trickier when the interest rates do go up again, right. because they're they're going to. Absolutely. I, I I I predict, and they've been talking about it, but there's they're going to go up two more times this year. Two more times this year. So I, I watch it on TV. All the uh, time. Again, l- let's keep in mind, guys, we're at six percent. You know, John Gabriel in nineteen eighty, whatever that was, yeah, yeah, it was, was 15, it eighteen, yeah. uh, fifteen? Yeah, 15 so yeah. uh, we're we're still talking about historically yeah. low <laughs> average interest rates. And when you're putting an offer in, don't be afraid to use an escalation clause. Right. Yeah. And that's it. I, I mean, Joe Johnson, you you guys know the game. You know how you know how to compete with multiple offers. You right. can't always win every time, but we have. You know, with our VIP buyer process, we have a lot of different <coughs> strategies that we use. Right. I mean, Kim and I talked about uh, last week the uh, the inspection threshold amount and playing with that in the contract. And and really, it's it's kind of a chess match with the other buyers and and how to beat them out. So, Joe, tell them not to get discouraged. You know, it's it's something the, the the right house is going to appear for them and it's it's going to fall into place it's just going to take a little bit longer than it's supposed to and you got to know the well, realtor you can you have to know a realtor like yourself Joe that knows how to wheel and deal to make the deal happen <laughs> that's what it's all about you know what you, know? you end up being my, I'm I'm a cheerleader I tell my client for them because you have to keep them uh encouraged and motivated right. and not discouraged and uh because it is tough out there but they're, they're the right property, I tell them, will will come, and uh, and and it will be the right one for them. You just don't want to buy a property. You want to buy the right one right. for you. Hey, Joe, are they bringing their parents or, uh, along on show, on, on showings? No. That's no. Right. no. No. Okay. There's not enough time. It, it, they're not. I yeah. mean, you gotta get, you got to get 
out there, and that's what I've been telling my buyers is that you know when when I see when I send them a house, I say, look, this house came on the market you know four or five hours ago, and uh, we need to make an appointment to go see it right away. Yeah, and uh, you whether their parents schedule their girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever a friend that has to give them approval on on the right house to buy is available. That doesn't matter. We got to get out there. We got to see that. Well, we listen, Joe, go through, go throw the, uh, the fishing pole in the water. We got to take a break here. <laughs> got to hear from our sponsors. We appreciate the calling. It was very relevant and, uh, tell your buyers to stay in the game. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. See you, Joe. Okay, Joey. Bye. We'll be back. To schedule an appointment with John Bevilacqua to help you buy or sell your home, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. John will be right back with more of the Your Home Sold Guarantee Radio Show here on Magic 100.5 and AM 590. Buying or selling the place you call home can be stressful. When you have questions, you don't want to wait for answers. Well, for 20 years, Kim Salerno and her team at Salerno Law have built a solid reputation with buyers, sellers, and real estate agents as fast respectful communicators. They know Salerno Law will protect their rights and respond quickly when a question arises. Trust Salerno Law. Call 518-309-3404 and check out their five-star reviews at salernolawny.com. Hey, it's John Tesh. If you're thinking of selling your home, let me take the stress out of deciding which agent to hire. In the capital region, the agent I recommend is John Bevilacqua founder of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty at the Property Shop. So for two decades, John has helped more than 2,500 families buy and sell the place they call home. That's a solid track record, one that's backed up by dozens of five-star reviews. Hello. In fact, John is so confident in his marketing system to attract the right buyer for your home that he guarantees to sell it at a price and deadline you agree to or he's going to buy it himself for cash. And he provides that guarantee in writing. The agent I trust is John Bevilacqua, and he's the agent you should trust too. His name is his promise, Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. So write this number down. It's 518-957-SOLD. That's easy. 518-957-7653. Or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. I love that one. johnnyhasthebuyers.com, and you'll get your home sold guaranteed. If you're buying or selling your home and would like to schedule an appointment with John, call 518-957-SOLD or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. Now back to the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show and your host, John Bevilacqua. Oh, man, I almost I almost missed the mic. I was, we were, we were uh, shooting the breeze, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I I want I want to circle back on something. I, I we mentioned you know parents coming to the showings and and listen. I want to preface that with your parents love you. They want to do the right thing, you know. But it, it's it, it, at oh, the end we of the, love you, son. That's right. But <laughs> you, you didn't even know I bought a house, I know. right? That's so, right. It's none of my business. I you tell them bring like the parents it, to bring the parents to the house after the closing, that's and right? Then, that's because right. they they love you. They want to protect you, and they they. They don't want to see you make a mistake, but at it's the end of the day, it's a ticklish situation. It's 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 touchy because oh, yeah, at the no end doubt. of the day, tough thing to handle. The yeah. kids got to you have to live there, kids. It's it's your house, and that's where your realtor comes in, right? Because he can put you in the right direction with your parents too. That's right. Know? He can slap them around, so to speak. That's right. Right. That's right. <laughs> Pick them up, shake them up. That's right. So so that I just want to preface that. So parents. Encourage your kids, be there for them. Just kind of stay out of the way and and let them. We're there to help them not make right, mistakes. That's right. the whole yeah, goal absolutely. here. So it, it's really a trust factor with with working with the right realtor. Anyway, well, listen, John Senior, it's been a pleasure. We got to wrap this thing up. Right. I know it goes by quick, doesn't it? Um, well, listen, I always end the show with our um, our our referral opportunity so our, your referrals help the community we, we I, I think everybody knows we're on a mission to raise fifty thousand for make a wish northeast new york capital regions veteran veterans legacy project great cause the apf out in glenville we actually donate a portion of every one of our commission sales to these foundations and you can too just by referring a friend family me- member colleague anybody you may know looking to buy or sell a house to our award-winning sales team it's that simple or if you want to get paid yourself for referring someone to us we'll do that too put some jeans in your pocket uh, money in your in your jeans so there's some conditions apply on that offer but just call us and we'll figure out how to make it work for you um so and also if you're looking to either trade up or trade down in a house you want to get a cash offer on your home cash offer a program has been working great um or just looking for the right investment property reach out to us 518-957 sold that's 957-7653 Ask about our VIP Home Hunter service. 
Um, you want to get on Market Watch and, and, and keep in touch of what's going on in the local real estate market, you can get on that too. Uh, John Senior, thanks for making the drive this morning. Hey, my pleasure. Um, don't forget to tune in next week. We're going to have Ben Forkuch and Freedom One. All right. And uh, it's going to make for another great show. Johnny G, we'll see you in a week. You got it. Okay. Thanks, guys. See y'all. The Your Home Sold Guaranteed Radio Show is presented by Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, The Property Shop. Join broker and founder John Bevilacqua every Saturday morning at 8.30 to hear about the latest real estate trends here in the Capital Region, where to find the best mortgage rates, home insurance, home warranties, and more. To speak to John about buying or selling your home, call now to schedule an appointment. 518-957-SOLD. That's 518-957-7653. Or go to johnnyhasthebuyers.com. That's Johnny has the buyers.com.